Hey Capricorn, it's Goddess Puff and this is your reading. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Capricorn. What do my Capricorns need to know at this very moment in time, Spirit? What's going on with my Capricorns and what do they need to know? All right, let's see. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you see it is when it is meant for you. All right, we have Black Cat, seven. Feel free to break down the numbers as you please. Journey, 24. Mischief, 25. And the overall energy is altered, too. So definitely a situation is going to be altered. Someone is trying to play games with you, with mischief. I also feel like something's mystical, of course. But I feel like the situation is going to be, like, literally altered. I feel like someone may have tried to mess with your altar on purpose that's bad luck in and of itself i genuinely genuinely believe that if someone touches your altar they've already fucked up they've already fucked themselves <laughs> but i'm getting that um with black cat that's clearly an omen i feel like there's a familiar spirit around you protecting you guiding you um i feel like someone is coming to your house or you're going to be guided to take a cat home or to go to someone's home and there's a black cat. It's something to do with a black cat. It's an omen or a sign. But you're going to be called to go somewhere or someone's going to come to your home. Someone's playing a game. They're going to put something outside your home or around your home. And it's actually, they're trying to like annoy you, but it actually turns out being good for you. So say, for instance, you're superstitious. So they put a black cat outside your house or like a picture or cutout or something about it. And it actually turns out being something you needed. Maybe it's for your altar, but let's get into the tarot. It could be a totem. Now, if someone goes out of their way to put a literal black cat in front of your home, um, animals are not a joke not to be played with. <laughs> All right, for Capricorn. Message for Capricorn, please, Spirit. What does Capricorn need to know at the very moment in time, Spirit? For Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we have Nine of Wands. Yeah, guarded. You feel very defensive. It could be a, a black cat that is very defensive, like aggressive. But now with you, we have the Hermit card, Virgo. Like they're aggressive to everyone else except you or they're aggressive to this person, but not you. I feel like this person did get an aggressive cat or they have one. And they put it around your home or try to bring it around you on purpose, but the cat is not aggressive towards you. It's like it may paw or scratch at you, but as soon as you pet it, it sits down and relaxes and only it only does that for you. They And the cat could be a Virgo, but anyway, a Virgo could be doing this to you. But I feel like you're guarded. You want to be left alone. You're staying at home. Four of Wands. Yep. So you're like a hermit. You're staying at home. You don't want to be bothered. You're very guarded at this time. So if someone comes to disrupt your home, they alter the setting of something to disrupt your peace, to aggravate you. They may come outside your home and beep their horn or make noises to get your attention. Yeah, the moon card. They're going to do this at night. It could be a Pisces as well. Or they're going to do this in secret. Because like an altar, an altar is like a sanctuary, right? Your home is like an altar, a sanctuary. So this person is going to come and do something at night. I feel like someone's cat could be named Moon. Overall energy is Eight of Pentacles. Something to do with work. It could be a coworker, or someone could literally be doing work with an altar, Eight of Pentacles, to disrupt you. To annoy you. Of course, you can always counter it. I feel like this person is trying to make cats be aggressive towards you or your cat, but it doesn't work that way. The moment you pet them, it goes away. This person could be making noises outside your house or doing work so that could happen. Like if you got a lot of wind chimes in your neighborhood, the wind is blowing a lot lately for no reason. <laughs> it's like this person's doing work to annoy you. To make your home a not so peaceful place. I think someone's jealous. For some of you, they're jealous because you get to work from home while they have to go into the office. 
clarify this message for Capricorn. So they're trying to make your home an unpeaceful place. Clarify this message for Capricorn. Clarify this message for Capricorn. Yeah, I get a lot of you could work from home or you're getting the privilege to do so now. Or you just spend a lot of time at home. Regardless, this person is doing things to make you uncomfortable. Clarifying the Nine of Wands is the death card, Scorpio. Yeah, they, they want you to come outside. <laughs> Seven of Wands. They don't want you to come outside. <laughs> okay, so they do, but they really shouldn't because you're not playing with them. Ooh. Seven of Wands, yeah, you're definitely going to stand up for yourself. You're putting an end to this permanently. As soon as it starts, it ends. They should not have done that. <laughs> it could be a Scorpio as well. Yeah, because with the Nine of Wands, I feel like you're guarded. You're in your fortress. But sure, you're, you're putting an end to being like hiding away or being guarded. You're not afraid of them, but you've just been like guarded. Like you don't want to be bothered keeping a wall up. Now you're giving them what they want. You want me to come outside? Okay, I'm calling the police. <laughs> Like if someone's outside your house making noise, bothering you, you call the police or you go out there and you beat their ass. For some of you, I'm literally seeing that. With the Seven of Wands, you defend yourself. They really should not have done that. Clarifying the Hermit card is the Ten of Wands, a heavy burden being put to rest. Yeah, you just dead a situation immediately. You're not hiding anymore or being at home anymore. Like if someone, they really going to wish that they did not call you into the office, that they did not make you start coming outside, they did not start bothering you because they're doing this to get you out of your shell. They're doing this to get you out of your home or get you back in the office and you stand up for yourself and defend yourself and they wish they never did it, but you're not going back. Yeah, Justice, Libra, you're not going back. So they, they shouldn't have done that. Like someone simply deliberately wanted to annoy you because you keep to yourself. Or they just thought it was fun. They thought you weren't going to do anything. And at first they're laughing, but that the smile is quickly wiped off their face. Uh, yeah, you can't play games like that with a Capricorn. Clarifying the Four of Wands is a Knight of Swords. Yeah, when, when you play, you play to win. This person's outside your house making noise. And it's like, I'm literally seeing you shoot an arrow back. When you play, you play to win. So say, for instance, I don't see you actually shooting an arrow at someone. I'm just... Seeing it how I'm, I'm saying it how I'm seeing it. So say for instance, someone's outside blowing a horn at your car and you go and run a car through their house. <laughs> That's the type of games you're playing. You're not playing games with this person. It's like a, you started it and I'm gonna finish it type of energy. Cause look at these, look at these instruments. They pull up on a bear blowing a horn outside your house, right? You show up on a horse with an arrow and I see the arrow going into the horn. Like you're not playing with them. Yeah, it's the wands. You came, you, you come to kill. <laughs> they came to play, you came to kill. So I, you could be taking legal action. Yeah, like immediately this person's going to be shook at how you're not playing with them. Because as soon as you hear some beeps outside your house, some noise, or you get wind of anyone trying to mess with you or harass you, you're taking legal action. The police immediately, if someone's on your property, you shooting on sight. You are not playing with them. I see someone, like, you go outside and you beat someone with a stick. <laughs> Oof. Clarifying the moon card is a star. Hope and healing with the moon. Yeah. The lovers. Clarifying the moon card. Gemini. So this is like an annoying ass ex. Overall energy is the queen of swords, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So this is an annoying ass ex. So, okay. I'm seeing it more clearly now. <laughs> so also we have the hermit card Virgo here. So someone was being like very malicious, being very guarded, right? Because of an ending of a relationship. Someone did not want something to end, but it ended. Someone stood up for themselves, ended the situation, right? The worst part of a situation is over. A heavy burden is being put to rest. Justice is served. But I feel like someone was guarded. Someone took up those defenses. So someone could have um, violated a contract. They got a restraining order against someone and someone purposefully, you know, because they didn't think you were going to do anything. They didn't think you were going to call the police. But you do, you defend yourself, you stand up for yourself. I feel like 
also someone secretly wants to heal a love connection with you it could be an air sign we have um aquarius gemini and we have pisces yeah i'm seeing something ended but it's like someone put up the nine of wands like a fence right to defend themselves stand up for themselves and someone took all those things down to attack someone so that someone could attack someone that's weird if someone's doing all this to get you back it's not working it's like someone's doing all this so that you'll heal a connection with them what someone wants you back someone secretly the moon car wants to heal a connection with you so they're harassing you it's an air sign they want you back we have all the air signs here aquarius libra and gemini with justice the star and the lovers they're harassing you messing with your home and all these things around you because they want to they want to be with you what there are now this is the definition of a crazy ex the fuck is wrong with you why would that work why would why would they think that would work and that's funny because the very last reading i did is it's called love spell and it was like snow white but she's really the witch this person um, to everyone else this person seems like such a sweetheart when really they're crazy as shit you got a crazy ass ex all right let me get you your final message capricorn <laughs> that mm, mm, mm. final message for capricorn final message for capricorn you may have to get a restraining order on this person i don't see them doing anything dangerous they're just fucking annoying get a restraining order they're not they're still not going to take it seriously they're freaking delusional like capricorn would never call cops on me or they'll get the restraining order and laugh like this person is like bewitched by their own spell the more they try to cast a love spell on you the more obsessed they become with you so it's like they're doing shit to get your attention they get a restraining order on them and they see the restraining order and they get angry for a second but i literally see their demeanor their demeanor switch and they laugh and they're like oh capricorn's just playing around this person's fucking delusional yeah ill what lurks electricity dishonesty i hope someone's not messing with the electricity outside your home cutting off your electricity or something like that to get you outside just do beeping their horn to get you outside like what tree wisdom good roots connection again putting a bunch of wind chimes in your tree you take them all down i feel like you should get a camera outside your house or in your house if you ever shared a home with them and they still have keys because this person is going to mess with your home and your property or if they're a coworker, at, they're going to mess with your area at work. Get a little camera for all those areas because this person's going to do something, okay? To get on your nerves. Milk, nourishment, parents, nostalgia. So, yeah, they they want you back, obviously. They miss you. But they're going about it horribly. White dress, appearances, society, gender. To, to the outside world, everyone thinks that they're so kind, so sweet, so this, so that. But you know the real then. And they ass is crazy. All right, I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me. All of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, which I'm always wearing, her Etsy link is in the description box below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.